Oh, hey. Don't think you heard. That's good. I'm James, from James Davies Art. Hi, Horace. I know, I'm sorry, I said it again, and uh, no, I don't, I don't have any hay. It's, uh, I never keep hay in my studio. I was just saying, like, hello. So, sorry about that, Horace. Uh, all right, see you then, bye. Right, so part two. Today we're gonna to look at drawing a basic a horse, the whole horse. And it can be a little bit tricky, but uh, I think you'll be all right. Um, there's gonna be some circles and some lines just to help map out the horse uh, shape. And uh, there'll be some freehand drawing of uh, some curved lines, but that's about it. We'll put them all together and then you'll have a, uh, a basic horse shape. So uh, let's have a look, shall we? Right, so we're gonna need a pencil and later on the pen and a rubber and of course the paper. So let's start drawing a horse then, shall we? So first of all, I'm gonna draw a line and then straight down like this, just lightly. And then about there, I'm going to draw a line going across. So about there. Then I'm going to draw, actually we'll draw in a circle first and this will give us a rough idea of where we're going. So I'm going to draw quite a large circle now, about there. Oop. Well, that's all right. Now I'm going to draw another line going across. I'm just going to sort of just about where the bottom of this circle is, just go across pretty much parallel with that top line. Now I'm going to draw another line a little bit narrower than this one going across. So about there. I'll bring this line down a bit further actually. And then about the same distance apart from that line to that line, again, so about there, another line going across. And they don't have to be perfectly straight, it's just to give you a rough, a rough guide. So I'm going to draw another large circle in now, and this one's going to be a little bit lower. I'll draw it about there. Now I'm going to draw a fairly small circle just on top of this second line, about like that. I'm going to draw another one about there. So it's this one's quite a way in from the edge of this circle here. And this one's a little bit closer to the back of this circle here. Okay, so next I'm going to draw in another circle. I'm going to put this one up, up here. This one's about half the size of those large circles that we've just drawn. And then I'm going to draw a line. You might remember this from the last lesson. I'm going to draw a line coming down here, which is just a guide 
for his head. So I'm going to draw in a slightly smaller circle here. And another circle here. Now this circle is actually come under this line a little bit, but that's all right. I'm going to draw a curved line just there, just underneath that last circle, which is going to be his, his, his bottom lip. Right, so now, now's the fun bit. We can start drawing in a few curved lines. So we'll start with this one. Now this one, we, we actually want a bit of this curve here. So we're going to bring a line following the edge of this circle. It's going to dip a little bit below the, the guide line that we drew in. And then it's going to come up and meet this circle at the back. And then same with this, we're going to follow this line round. And it's going to break away from the circle, go below that guideline that we drew in. But at about halfway between these two circles, it's going to start coming back up. And it's going to meet that circle there like that. That's fine. Don't forget, the pencil doesn't have to be exact because we'll be going over it with our, our pen later on anyway, so that's fine. And if you make any mistakes with the pencil, just rub that line out and put it in again until you're completely happy with it. Right. So now we can draw in an ear shape, which is a little bit like, kind of like a flame shape, really. leave that one ear there and we're going to we're going to go back to this curved line that we put in underneath this circle and have it go up cutting off a little bit of this middle circle and then it's going to join that large circle there and where it joins that large circle, I'm going to draw a curved line. Now this is the freehand bit coming down to that large circle. And then we'll go back to the top of this circle. And we're going to draw another curved line coming down to meet. that so so you've got that that so you can start to see there's a bit of a, a horse shape appearing now and so we'll go up to the ear and we'll follow this curved line around and then we're gonna draw a line following down just touching the top of that middle or the, that part of the middle circle and then if you remember we we cut off a few bits of the smaller circle so we'll do that again so it goes in and then it comes out a little bit <clears throat> and then comes out a little bit again like that We're going to leave that bit uh, for now. We'll do the hair later. So if we come back to this first large circle that we drew, we're going to draw in a smaller circle about there. And we'll do this. Yeah, we'll do, draw a bigger one actually at the back, probably about that size. So 
meet us up with the sort of looks like two big googly eyes. Okay, so now we're going to draw another line between this circle and this small circle here. And this is going to come down. it like that and then we go to the other side and have this line come down and meet that small circle too and if we go right to the, the very bottom line here so just below that small circle we're going to draw in a line and this is going to be its hoof so a hoof is basically a line a line going up and then a curve which is like its uh, foot joint there like its ankle and then straight down like that. Right now for the back leg. Now this one can be a little bit tricky. So we're gonna what we'll do is we'll go to this far side of this large circle and we'll draw a line coming down like that. Now this is gonna start to come away from the circle, come down here a bit like that, and then start to bend back round. And if we draw, actually if we drew a line from the large circle again, coming pretty much straight down like this, down to the the small circle. It's a little bit like a balloon sort of bending that way. Okay, so the we're drawing the hoof again and this one's going to be a little bit over this way. So it's not going to be directly below that small circle like we did on the front leg. It's going to be closer to the front leg. So I'm going to put it about there and then draw in the hoof again. So that's a line, a line going up and the ankle. So this one, rather than bending around and coming in, we're going to actually have it come out a bit. And then it's just going to go straight up to this circle here. drawing the curved line of its the front of its hoof and then a line coming down to meet it. I'm going to draw a little bit of a a little bit that sticks out there uh, on the back of its uh, that's, that's its probably his knee. Right, so now we can draw in the tail. So you've got to be careful when you draw the tail because you don't want it to look like it's sticking up too much because if horses normally stick their tail up like that when they're doing their business and um, so you don't want it to be, unless you want your horse to be be doing that but um, we'll just draw a tail in like this I think today so that's a big curve right line coming down and pretty much straightening off <coughs> straightening off there Do a 
few lines like that just to indicate that it's, it's hair. So there we have our basic horse outline already. So we draw an eye in, and to draw an eye we I'll put the eye about there actually. And the nostril. So the, the hair, probably could have given him bigger ears actually if I'd had a bit more room. So the hair, if you remember from the last lesson, you can have it going over that side, in which case it would just be um, some curved lines like that. But I think I'm going to have the hair falling down this way. So that's a again curved line and then some zigzaggy bits at the bottom. Right. Now the other thing is the that you could do is draw in the a slight bit of the other leg. So I'm just gonna imitate this line. Just gonna draw it down like that, but I'll have it disappear around there and start to show up again about there. Same with the back leg. I'll have that. Just a just a curved line, just to copy that line there. And I'll have it reappear about there. Drawing a second ear as well. Okay, so now we're ready for the pen. Just to double check, just to make sure. Yeah. Okay, so with our pen, we'll just go around all these lines. Right, <clears throat> okay, so a horse is, is quite muscly as well. It's very, they're very strong, aren't they? So we'll put a little line in here just to indicate a muscle. And a little line down here on his leg. And here as well. And I think we'll put a, a muscle in there like that. And a line there and a line there. So there we have our horse. So what we can do now is take our rubber and start rubbing out all these pencil lines. Remembering to follow the, the pencil. So there we are, a horse. So this picture is a bit tricky, but and it might take a few attempts, but I'm sure you'll you'll get there. And now uh, now all that's left is to colour it in. So I think I might make it look like Horace, and then maybe give him the picture to cheer him up because I haven't got any hay. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. So I'm going to speed up this picture now while I colour it in, but. Um, I've got to decide what I'm going to do for the next lesson, actually, which animal to do. Hmm. Maybe you could help me out. If you have any ideas of 
what animal you'd like to see and maybe we could practice drawing that then let me know in the comments and subscribe so you don't miss it and uh, we'll have a look at that next week then well I hope that's been of help to you see you next time